UNDP's intervention in the community information centers is a response to the government of Ghana's request to the ICT facility development program. And um, that's also um, something that the government was responding to at the time, to the World Summit on um, Information Society, WISIS, we call it for short, which demanded that countries should provide information communications technologies to unserved and underserved communities as a way of improving information society. Now, so within that broad background, the government intended to put community information centers in one of each of the 230 constituencies across the country as a way of bridging the digital divide, providing information to unserved and underserved, and using them as hubs for internet penetration across the country. Now we are in IT age, and I think uh, we don't need to discriminate against by virtue of your location. So the uh, the site of the facility here is in the right direction in order to bring the gap between those in the cities and those of us in the rural areas. I come here to learn some of the things in the computer. And the, those things I come to learn is how to open Microsoft Word, paint application, and how to open games. Some of the games I like is playing football. When I play football on the computer, I know when I'm going to play football on school, I know how to play it. So I learn some from here. And when I'm playing football, I try to do it. The coming of the CIC, which is the Community Information Center in Bichem, have given us tremendous help. Because as soon as our report is typed, sometimes we come to the CIC to do the typing here before we do the sending through the net. We were once invited to Accra by the UNDP to be trained for two weeks on internet working and uh, creating, creation of block. I'm a farmer. I deal with uh, cocoa, palm oil, including foodstuffs like plantain, maize, and cassava, and as well as uh, tree planting. Through the internet, I was able to know that none of the residue is thrown away just like that. There are other uses for those byproducts. Uh, previously, from 2007, down was people were traveling from Bichem to Sunyane, which is about 30 kilometers to browse. And if it is Kumasi, it's about 52 kilometers. So we, normally we think about the, the risk and the amount involved. So with the CIC being cited here, the risk and the cost involved has drastically reduced. In the real application of ICT as a driver of change at the local level is what we really want to see. And we're happy that we are seeing some of that already. And this can only happen when you have that kind of infrastructure that is supporting at the national level the decentralization process. And that's what we want to see. And that's what we say.